Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the PTS Showdown. <sighs> DM, it's been so long, my friend, but we have a brand new Conquest map day. here. Huh? That was a lie. I saw him like two days ago. No, it, not since we've been on camera. It hasn't been since Friday of SWC. That's right. Oh, wait. Wow. Yeah, we it's been a long time. Did we cast Saturday? Or huh? Saturday? I don't think we did. Oh, that sucks. We didn't cast Saturday. We so did it's, not. Been, it's, been a, it's been quite a long time. Huh? You good? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm homeostasis. How are you? The same, I think. I don't know what that means. Homeostasis. Oh, Jesus. All right. Well, anyways, guys, so this is going to be a PTS showdown. So uh, what this is, this is basically we decided to open it up, but the viewers decide on who they wanted to see play against right. each other uh, on the new map. Now, this is PTS. This is not live yet. Uh, we're still testing a lot of things, but as it stands right now, I'm a big fan of the new map. It's incredible. And, you know, it's yeah. the little things that made it so much better, like the orange flowers on the map. Stop it. Uh, <laughs> So, big changes that you guys are going to see here today, and this is one that I think, uh, it, it's mixed right now, yeah. but I think everyone's getting used to it, is the fact that mid-harpies are spawning up at three minutes instead of at the beginning of the game. Right, so what happens is, uh, players wind up being a little bit farther behind than they yeah, normally just... would, by a very small amount. Yeah. Uh, they usually hit level five, I would say, like 30 seconds mm -hmm. later, maybe a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, depending on how the early game goes. Uh, but it's an interesting dynamic, because now, even with those mid-harpies gone, Warding becomes more difficult. Yeah. By running into the enemy side of the jungle to put that normal speed ward down or your normal blue you, ward you down. You almost can't, it's, you, right? You can't, it's dangerous. Yeah, so pretty much from your speed buff to their speed buff is just like uncharted territories <laughs> that you, you just kind of like do a defensive ward. You're like, okay, I'm going to ward right by Fire Giant and, and that's we'll look the other it. way <laughs> and make yeah. sure they don't come in from this side. That's, that's pretty much it. And then the other big thing here is now the jungle starts, right? Right. So uh, we see a little bit of tomfoolery uh, sometimes, but for the most part, it's very, very safe. Yes, um, a lot of times the mid is going one side or the other, either yep. at the speed buff or at the red. More notably, we'll go to the red buff yep. since he wants to pick that up. Uh, and then generally you'll have your your duo, your other, your duo goes, picks up the purple buff, goes to lane. Yep. And then you'll have your Jolo. Uh, Jolo. It's, the, it's the new term for your jungle solo start. I because they totally, build Jutens. I totally <laughs> meant to do that. They'll do the speed blue. Go to lane. Um, I think I don't think there's a single team right now that has those mid harpy timers on lock. But we're gonna find out as we get in. We're gonna be checking in here with Team Ben versus Noble Esports. Yeah. So Team Ben is going to be consisting of Jerby, Sasic, Aurora, who is actually filling in for this squad. Right. This is not normal roster. Yeah. Paradox and Homafe. And looking at the team, I mean, it actually looks pretty good, DM. So. Um, We'll talk a little bit ab about the bands here before we get in. I know you guys didn't get a chance to see the picks and bands. We will let you know Thor has been taken out, a character that is still seen as very strong even without his pen boots. Um, and I think who has maybe gotten stronger in some regard, thanks to the fact that there are no... Uh, rather, Aegis will not break CC anymore, meaning his combo is much more effective in the endgame. Oh, for sure. And the one thing that I do want to talk about just a little bit here is Ymir, right? So some of the bigger supports that we've seen so far in the PTS, keep in mind, it's been out for about two weeks. Uh, Athena is getting a lot of play. We're also seeing a lot of warriors because of Bluestone Pendant, which gives you a lot of mana. Right. Uh, you can see, like, the Wukongs or really Fenrir is very viable. Now. Fenrir was viable before as a showed in season one mm -hmm. uh, and now is getting very strong for those of you who might have caught the complexity scrim last night it was actually run by incontinentia it's a great success unrelinquished in a lot of trouble here as you see him taking some damage but uh, strangely is not deterred won't back off uh, he doesn't really have a way to sustain himself just yet so it's strange to see him get so aggressive yeah Ragni missed that web by just a little bit and Ragni, i i'm still on the fence with her like, there's times where I watch her and I'm like, oh my god, She's her lifesteal is insane, how do you kill her? But then there's other times where I feel like if you just have a team who can kind of shut her down and make sure you have the peel, I don't know if she fits. Well, that was the same thing as old Arachne before the rework. That was exactly how she was. She was considered a pub stomper. She did very well in non-competitive play because without a proper team CCing effectively, it's very hard to stop. But uh, speaking of strong gods here, over in the left lane, we're going to see, uh, our, I think, our first showing of Shibalanke oh, in a very long time. We haven't talked about this god in 
forgot. I, I don't even think since I've started I working at high res that X ball was ever a one. In fact, I'm pretty <laughs> sure uh, Kevin and Pon Pon were kind of like, um, don't even learn them. You don't need to right now. <laughs> uh, but the X ball. So why you're seeing X ball kind of come into rotation is because this game has turned into a very late oriented game. Now. Right. It's no longer done in 25 minutes. We're seeing it kind of get to 35 minutes. Uh, oh, Typhlosion in some trouble here as Aurora and Paradox move forward. But we'll see a rollout from Geb. He'll be able to stay safe. But uh, to alliterate more to what Gandhi was saying, um, especially in the Hunter role, um, what has happened here is we've seen a deviation away from clear yep. gods. Uh, all of the gods who are clearing very quickly and very safely have had their clear reduced, uh, which kind of puts them in line with Shibalanke. But remember, Shibalanke's endgame is absurd, getting 50 damage out the gate just by having Branching Bolas activated for his auto attacks. Now, so here's what we're going to be seeing. 20 seconds, we're going to see the first mid harpy spawn up. That's where you're going to be seeing Homafei and Jerby, who, by the way, uh, got demoted to substitute for Team Complexity, Correct, and now yes. he's trying to find himself on a roster. Uh, he's trying to get lucky here. Uh, this could be a team that we could see him on potentially in the long haul. Well, I think he is on the roster, correct? Uh, oh, trouble so well. here. Uh, Typhlosion in a lot of trouble, taking some damage. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to get out of this one. Nice rewind by Jerby to stop the damage coming through, especially with mid camps coming back in. Rollout going to be canceled. Nice shot coming out there from BK Haste. Homie he's face is going to take a lot of damage. Uh, Yo -Yo ABC uh, puts himself out, as we're going to see more pressure coming in. I don't know if first blood's possible here. Yeah, this is going to be hard. There's oh. a Neethal as well. Jerby's going to go down to Arachne, and now that's going to be Nemesis rotating out. Geb waiting for the knockup. Doesn't have it. Look at Slice and Dice doing so much. Homophase is going to get stunned. He's going to be able to get out of there. So that's uh, good for them. Team Noble Esports drawing first blood. Yeah, I don't think anyone really expected this. I think everyone kind of expected Team Ben to come out with uh, the roster they have and kind of just destroy in all phases of the game. Uh, Paradox, Jerby, uh, Aurora, all playing in the SPL last year. Sasuke and Homie FA, two players who were definitely close enough. Oh, right like was side. in a lot of trouble. Ooh, that was close. That was so close. I thought he was going to get it. Now, this is a this is a god who, Tier, we're, we're going to talk about Tier for just a little bit here, right? Okay. My man, Tier, was only really viable in Season 1 because of Divios. Divios was just kind of like, yeah. okay, I'm going to outplay everyone with Tier, not a big deal. But now, in right. this meta, in Season 2 PTS, Tier is here. That's right. I mean, he has an amazing early game and mid game. He has incredible sustainability. In fact, uh, for the most part, can out sustain Hercules in certain parts of the game, uh, depending on how much damage he takes versus how much Hercules takes when mitigate wounds is actually active. Uh, it's dangerous. Uh, speaking of dangerous, Aurora in the mid lane taking a lot of damage and a lot of CC and mm. doesn't answer back with a missed freeze. It's actually also a little bit unusual seeing Aurora play a traditional support. I think it's been a very, very long time since maybe Regionals Game 2 uh, versus Dignitas that he's actually played a normal god, but normally it's like Fenrir, Warrior kind of... Fenrir kinda, is right? good now, Aurora. Yeah. What are you doing? Was he banned? No, he was he not was banned. banned. Uh, the bands were actually your standard jungler bands. Yeah, that's right. Um, uh, Sir Ket... Al Kuang, Thor, all getting taken away. Janus for the mid lane, which is expected. Hercules getting a ban, which is a little bit curious to me. And then, of course, uh, Osiris. But Hercules, uh, I think we should talk about a little bit while we have a lull here. Uh, not super strong in the current meta. Still yeah. pretty relevant, but he's definitely not ban material. Yeah, he pretty much got, his damage got hit just a little bit. So the matchups little bit. Yeah, come on. Ooh. He, okay, well, to be fair, where Hercules should have been, it's a little bit, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, that, not where he was. So before Hercules, if he had a bad matchup, he could still kill those gods. Right but now, that's off the table. Yeah, if he, if he fought a god that wouldn't be normally in his favor, he still had a chance to kill the person invading from the jungle, uh, as Nemesis is shown there, invading from the jungle, mm -hmm. and kill the person he was fighting anyway. Now, Good it's more likely he's going to die, but um, a lot of trouble here. Not sure what Homie FA was waiting for, or rather Paradox was waiting for. Uh, those babies are going to chase him down, and this should be a pretty free kill here. Yeah, Agni with a good rotation as well. Uh, I, I don't think they're going to have the potential to take out Homafe, uh, but they're still at least able to do it, so that's going to be a 2-1 to -one trade. Now, this also could free up the jungle. Now, we could see Yo-Yo ABC kind of invade and go for the red buff there, but there was good rotation coming out of Aurora to kind of push him back. Here comes the stun. He's got a lot on him. He needs his teammates to come and bail him out. You can see the life still coming. Here comes the ultimate crawling on the ceiling, but it's not enough as he's not able to get a kill. Jerby goes all the way, and he doesn't have his teammates down. Jerby goes. No, Jerby gets the kill. Jerby hits rewind, and now does he have it for Geb? It looks like he'll have a decent amount.
amount of damage. And with three people here, uh, Typhlosion looks it. like he will go down. Nice stun coming out from BK Haste, uh, but no follow-up. Everything on cooldown. And Angio, super late to the party here, doesn't actually help the team pick up that uh, straggler. Also, I should mention that Aurora got a beautiful freeze on top of the fact that he was also able to pick up the, ha the Hand of the Gods kill on the mid Harpies as well. We'll see a rotation over towards the right side as BK Haste looks like he's going to try to take this one by himself. Aurora's rotating over. We'll see what happens. Well, Aurora, I, I don't, he might be able to do it. You can see him just start to blow everything. And now he, he, he forced out a, you know, a meteor, but you know, those come up every 20 seconds. So he, he can, he can afford to waste that. But uh, the one thing we DM we've yet to talk about is the change to boots. Now oh, boots no right. longer provide penetration at all. Uh, speaking of uh, penetration, it doesn't look like that little baby needs it. That was a clean <laughs> blow up. Uh, perfect use, by the yep. way, of clear the path, canceling it right as it hits uh, to ensure that he can do damage on the fall. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Trying to find a kill here. That's a quick ultimate activated. He's going to lose 50% of his health there for that. That was not worth it. And Eddie just blew Hand of the Gods there on the wave as well when his buffs are getting ready to come up as well. Uh, so an evade could happen here. That could be the callout coming out from Team Ben saying, yo, Arachne's Hand of the Gods is down for 60 seconds. The speed buff's probably going to be up in about 20. Um, so going back to the, the boots yeah, the here, boots. now all the boots, boots have had their cost reduced, which is a big deal. Oh. Um, but pretty much everyone across the board is going to feel the boots nerf. Um, supports no longer have access to Midas, meaning they're coming on later. Yep. Um, all the penetration has been taken off boots outright. You're going to probably see a lot of warrior tabbies uh, for that amazing amount of damage. There's also... Um, a, a, pretty, a pretty decent amount of damage on Magi is bringing it up to 65 mm -hmm. magic, uh, which lost the penetration in favor of mana. Uh, cooldown boots still remain for the magical side, whereas the attack speed has been taken off of Warrior Tabby um, and as, uh, has been placed onto Ninja yep. Tabby in lieu of the cooldown reduction. So a lot has changed there. A lot. Uh, but we also have movement speed boots back. Movement speed boots are back, and reinforced greaves are actually worth picking up now. Yes. You're getting a lot of health. You're getting just a lot of everything. It's Team Ben's looking to take the Gold Fury here. We're going to see Divine Judgment go down on Geb. Geb's health just is going to get depleted. Cataclysm's going to buy him some time. Roll out. Not enough, though. Homofei is able to get one. Looking for the second one. That's the thing about Agni. Now, Agni has found himself almost in a tier above where he was last year. Last year, we were kind of saying, like, Agni is, like, the point of balance. Agni now we're the like focal point, quintessential, yeah. most balanced god in the game. And now we're like, man, Damn, Agni. he's strong. He's so strong. <laughs> <laughs> um, Agni doesn't really need the penetration as much as other characters would. It, it would help him, obviously, yep. but his clear is so safe. He does a ton of damage. He has great mobility. He just brings everything you would want in a mage. Uh, similarly to Janus, similarly to Kronos. Uh, these are three characters I think you'll see a lot in the current meta. Now, taking a look at the builds here, obviously you're going to see a couple things that are new to the UI. you got the Bluestone Pendant coming out on Vimana as well as Tyr. Uh, but we're seeing a Wingblade be rushed by a Roar. Now, Wingblade... At first, it was like, okay, boots aren't necessary. We can kind of get away from it. But now it's like, oh, you need boots. Uh, yeah. Um, well, with Wingblade, though, um, and this was actually a 3v3 meta. Right as 3v3 came out, you would have your Guardian or support player replace his boots with Wingblade. It's slow immunity. It's cooldown reduction. It's health. It's movement. I mean, yeah. it's everything that you would want in an item. And it's cheap. Yeah, it, It's very cheap. It, that's the thing, right? Well. Uh, well, it still got a nerf coming out from last season. At the SWC, almost everyone was picking up Wingblade. It was right. like, Agni with Wingblade, what, what, what's going on here? <laughs> uh, so it got hit a little bit, but, you know, it, with the nerf also came a reduced in cost, so that helps it out a lot. I'm actually pretty surprised to see Jerby not go directly into Doom Orb. This, I think, mm. is an item that will make a very small resurgence onto certain gods. Okay. Most specifically, Kronos uh, benefits greatly. His scaling is ridiculous. Uh, especially once he hits endgame, having a, a large amount of burst damage on a god who will directly increase his own auto attack damage with his passive is very, very strong. And that, I also see, uh, as time goes on, I see a lot of junglers making the switch back to Heartseeker. Really? Yes. Movement speed is incredibly strong, and with penetration gone, you must augment that stat with more damage. Uh, and with that, I think a lot of characters are going to rush back into Heartseeker, most notably characters uh, who will benefit greater from movement speed. Um, I would say, actually, Arachne in this case, especially with her early game. 
Um, I definitely don't think Thanatos, but I think he's a god we're going to see a lot of this season as well. Nemesis coming on the backside. Yo Yo ABC forced into the ultimate. He's just going to kind of bait around, gets into the mid lane, going to be very, very safe. Jerby took damage, though. Yeah, Jerby took a little bit of damage, but he also saved himself from earlier from the Arachne. Now, Jerby, he's got a lot of proof this season. When you get put down onto yeah. the bench, you, one thing you want to oh. do is prove to your ex teammates that you have what it takes and they made the mistake. Yo Yo ABC accidentally just popped his three minute beads. Oh! Oh! I call that the Bad. VGS curse, but why would he be why would he be typing right now? I, I think a lot of people still get stuck in that kind of like ranked scenario. I get remember uh, who gank, was gank. <laughs> it? Uh, Nav was telling me that he actually had to ping saying uh, voting stacks for his team. Neath <laughs> ultimate comes down. Geb's gonna throw a cataclysm. He's gonna manage to live. Paradox trying to do any kind of damage onto Agni, but he just was unable to do so because he had Arachne in his face. Uh, x ball Orfano is going to rotate in. Tier looking to make the movement. Nope, he's going to go ahead and recall. He's got his wave all the way shoved up, so Vamana is going to have to take that. So this is a perfect time for him to actually back. You know, it's curious to me to see Shibalanke starting to fall behind. Of course, Neath still has incredible clear, and um, going into this, Gandhi and I were both discussing how we don't see Neath as being a super strong. Yeah, I think yeah. she's good. Yeah, she's good. I don't think she's super strong, uh -uh. but we should note that of the hunters, she likely has the best clear. So maybe she might be hmm. a, a semi counter pick to Shibalanke. Uh, AMC. Him down. AMC has the best clear right now. That's right. No, That's okay. who it is. Yeah, yeah. A a a AM AMC is laying down the law uh, in just about every way, shape, and form uh, in the duo lane. He's very, very strong. Uh, his clear did not get hit at all, which is good for him. Aurora's got the wall. Beads comes out on Agni. Agni has the dash. He's so safe, and that's why you play him. Well, Chronos assassin. has the stun. They're going to try to burn down Geb. Geb's going to turn around. Big babies in the middle. Agni's going to get forced out. Look at Tyr. He's just going to auto-attack him twice, not doing anything to the baby. But that is a matchup. Chronos, a.k.a. Jerby, still lingering in the back. Could be looking for something there. But it looks like he's going to go ahead and just get this XP for mid-harpies. I think the silver lining there is the fact that Gold Fury wasn't up for 20 more seconds, so they'll have enough time to get, get back. But unrelinquished, uh, indeed, will wow. his spot in the mid lane. Gets bursted down immediately, uh, and that's wow. Tier. They just burst it down. Well, that's well, Tier, right? So we have the protections coming out on the Runeforged hammer, but the big stat here on Runeforged is health, right? And so when you look across the way, you see Nemesis. She's got Jotuns online. She's got Divine Judgment. She's stealing those protections. Tier, oh, if God. she gets hit with it. He's Gold very Fury. squishy. Just get down here. It <laughs> <laughs> drives me nuts. Like, all right, guys, Gold Fury is respawning, and she's sitting there looking at you guys. What you doing? <laughs> she's like, oh, yeah, you, you, you want that 1,500 gold? You want that 1,500 gold? Come You're not get getting it. it. <laughs> all right, so anyway, back to Nemesis. Back to yeah, Nemesis. Ne Nemesis is just, she's a perfect god in the jungle. Here comes the Zoni coming out of Roar. Perfect wall. Ooh. Here comes the ultimate as well. Exactly. Ice Shard's doing a lot. Look at, no, 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 ABC, you got to turn your focus, man. He wants a roar, but this is going to give him a lot of time to peel. Sasic's going to be there as well. Homophase able worth. to get one. Arachne goes into the sky. Paradox now in the backside, forced all the way out by Unrelinquished. Unrelinquished taking on three people, but down he goes. Divine Judgment says, there's a double kill. And Yo Yo ABC is the last one. Nemesis no, says, I don't no. care about you. And he's alive. Retribution Shield keeps him alive. That's a <laughs> clean deicide with yep. seven seconds remaining before Typhlosion's going to be up. And obviously, he's not going to have Teleport. Uh, Nemesis doesn't even need to be on that side of the map. We'll back safely, and the Gold Fury will be started, traded, and most likely killed here by Team Ben for a 1,500 gold swing on top of the deicide, on top of the Tier 2. And now we'll extend their lead hugely up to 7,100 gold. This Gandhi is, I think, what people at home expected. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I think at first everyone's like, okay, what, what's Noble going to bring out? But then when we saw at first Team Ben, everyone's like, okay, I'm not really sure about their support. But then you add a roar to the mix. Come on, forget about it. A roar is a fantastic support Do player. Do we know He's been who streaming is supposed to be? Hmm? I, see, I, I don't know who the actual player is that Aurora is subbing in. I don't, I don't know either. Hmm. I'm, I'm not sure at all. I just know Aurora's had a tough time in this offseason, right? Like, he was thinking about going to Europe and landing with Young Bay. Young Bay was thinking about coming over to here in North America. And then, you know, that kind of fell through. And so now Aurora's like, uh, I might just take, you know, this first split off. But, you know, if they have the synergy with this team, so far, I, I don't, I don't good. see any reason why they wouldn't. I would like to see them, uh, if they can get through this game, uh, maybe go up uh, against one of the top four from last season. Uh, most notably, I think, I would like to see complexity. I mean, I always love yep. watching Aurora versus Incon. I would love to see how Jerby can match up against his old team. Yeah. That kind of stuff would that's be a, That's a lot of stories, man. Yeah.
Yeah, that's that's the stories that we as commentators love, right? It's like, oh yeah, we don't have to make anything up. <laughs> uh, it happens more than you think. It, it does. It really does. <laughs> uh, so, coming into the mid lane here, homie FA might be put into a pincer here, but they're they're too afraid. Without a tower there, they won't they won't. It looks wow. like engage her, and she will in fact engage them. Yeah, she's going deep, uh, and she's got the peel. She wasted the ultimate there as well. That's going to be Aurora stunning out the Geb rollout. Very, very good. He's got about 1.5 seconds to stop that before he becomes CC immune, so that's really, really big. Derby's going to poke him. They're going to secure the Harpies as well, as Sasek is now going to go ahead and look. He's looking for one Unrelinquished on the side. He should be able to get this. There's the Hand of the Gods, and now Unrelinquished is going to be forced out, and now the hunt is on. Oh, they could pressure real well here. Typhlosion taking a lot. Perfect knock up. He's going to get blown up by the Shards of Ice as we relinquish coming back in. Paradox going to find a kill that Homie FA will go down. Tier 1 on left more than likely will fall here. Uh, Agni kind of forced into a bad situation. And Jerby, level 15 right now, is going crazy. Yeah, Jer Jerby wants this yo-yo ABC, but Unrelinquish is going to be there. Look at, look at his health just go. This is why Tier is back in the meta. He's going to get stunned down. He's going to get it twice. He's forced to ultimate. And now yo-yo ABC going all the way into the back. Vamana doing the damage. Unrelinquish comes in. Do they have what it takes? Big Baby's going to be there. There's going to be one. He's looking for the double. Just smashing just down. Two in a row. Unable. Ooh, they can't had miss it. shots like that. Yeah. You can't miss shots like you that. Can't. Um, so interesting point here is that Jerby did not use Rewind. Uh, yeah. Within an eight-second window, he used all of his cooldowns. It took about 60% of his health mm -hmm. and then ran out. Had he rewinded, that's a good point. Uh, or rewound? Or used the rewind. It's a pronoun, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Get the hell out of here with English. It's too early four. in the day. <laughs> <laughs> had he hit the button. Um, had he hit the button, he would have rewound into a perfect... Oh, I did it again. I know. He would have came into a perfect spot. Rewinded? Uh, would have been able to immediately got another stun off. That should have been a double kill right there for Sasek. And probably not a fire giant, but they would have had a lot more pressure to go for objectives. I feel like as time goes on, since Kronos has been out of the meta for so long, the rewind game is going to level up. Depleted. Depleted. Cataclysm right. didn't did it even go off they as said well? That, bro. It didn't. Uh it did. <laughs> oh, double double uh double I don't think he's gonna have much more than that though. Yeah, he doesn't have much at all. He's Pepper got the Neath ultimate, connects right into solar plexus. Down he goes. They're gonna steal the speed buff. This is a fire giant here. Yeah. We just saw the charts, they were out of control. Taking a look at it, Neath. He, she's got Ichabol. Ichabol got a big buff, and it's also one of the few items that's very cheap that gives you penetration. So Hunter's not surprised to see that. Normally it comes on before boots, though, almost sometimes. Ooh, and, and they're just here. able to they're burn down this fire giant, which you actually kind of have to dance around Yeah, they, they should have invaded that. With how much damage Aurora took from that because of his positioning, they should have had a, maybe a semi-steal attempt. They could have at least killed Aurora on the trade and made it harder. Uh, but it looks like they're going to let that one go for free. Team Ben up two gold furies, a fire giant. They're up 14 kills. And now they're, it looks like they're going to back and spend some money, or at least a roar will. The rest of the team continues to strip away the jungle. Uh, they should. They should, right? Yeah. And, you know, I'm actually kind of surprised that X-Ball, at this point in the game, decided to go into Ichabol. I, I was almost expecting to see the late. Oboe. Yeah. I want to see if, if it's viable in a competitive setting. Uh, oh, dude, I like the new Oboe. You like the Oboe? Have you seen Oboe on Osiris? Uh-uh. Lord in heaven. It's just, it re huh. if you stand in the creeps and he does the AoE, yeah, 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 yeah. someone's taking that lightning Ooh. damage. Oh, okay, oh, I can boy. see that. So you always just proc uh, the third animation of his auto attack yeah. and then it just kind of spreads it. It's guaranteed okay. on the third hit if there's two people. I mean, it's nuts. That, that's that's a lot of clear added to Osiris's kit, but that's yeah. also a lot of clear added to a lot of the Hunter's kits. It's just going to be interesting to see how it all stacks up. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of theory crafters out there who are crunching the numbers, seeing what's the most beneficial, but... At the end of the day, numbers only do so much. That's right. I mean, a, a lot of what it comes down to a build um, is the fact that I don't think a lot of people are recognizing the fact that abilities play a huge part in how much health a player has, mm -hmm. which means the effective damage could be lower or higher depending on who you're fighting uh, at any given time. With that, Oboe has a very strange application that can catch people off guard very quickly. For sure. You don't even have to be taking the damage directly from the Hunter now to be taking the damage from the Hunter. So it might be an item we see. It, it could oh. still be weak. Obviously, it'll need more testing, and for now, it looks Here like Ankevold will be the flavor of the month. Homafe is going to jump in. That they're all I, all their eyes are on oh. tier for some reason there. They weren't able to get anything. Uh, Paradox was in an but unusual they spot there gone. as well. Ultimates are going to be down. They're going to be able to try to burn this down. Aurora's got a freeze on too. Unrelinquished coming on the side. He's going to force Derby out. Divine Judgment comes down onto him. 
X-Bar is forced all the way off. Cataclysm is going to hit four. Yo-Yo ABC isn't able to crawl on the wall, so now he goes down on Relinquish in the backside. They're forced all the way out. They're going to push this. That That's a healthy Titan, though. As you're taking a look at the right lane, there is two towers and a Phoenix. Oh, and remember, the Titan can no longer take damage oh, if he's not right. in combat. That's you right. You must pull him, which means characters like Kukul Khan and Ra actually have a small nerf in that fact. Mm -hmm. um, if that change goes over to Joust, though, Lord help us all. <laughs> it's going to be some long games, my man. Uh, Hand of the Gods comes down, unrelinquished. He's facing a baby. Sasex there. He's going to juggle one. He's going to get beads out, though. Jeremy forced to rewind. He's oh. all the way out. He's safe. I think this might be a disengage, though. I think do yeah. not have the damage. But look at the eyes turn from Noble. Noble. Oh, no. God. Oh, Typho is just going to get exploded. Down goes Gap. Unrelinquished is all by himself. He's calling out to his teammates. He's going to be there for the baby. Does he have the damage? He gets denied by the wall. And now unrelinquished, forced all the way out, trying to use the Phoenix to save his life. He's trying. Jeremy misses another stop time. I think that's the third in the last engagement and a half or so. I mean, a lot of that damage has been wasted so far. Homie F.A. Uh, manages to help Jeremy pick up the kill, though. Uh, Homie F.A. Retribution Seal to keep himself alive against Path of Flames. First game looks like it's going to be the Team Ben here because the cleanup is real and all five people still remain. Fire Giant buff doing a ton of work here. Jeremy finds the stop time. Unrelinquished tries to heal himself up as Typhlosion. No. We'll keep the dream alive for now as Sasha goes down. Dude, Unrelinquish is doing everything he can with Tyr. He is getting in. He's using his ultimate to get out. He's juggling them. But again, it's just too much of Team Ben. And really what's coming down to it is Noble Esports is like, okay, Geb and Tyr are just not synergized right now, right? Right. They, they need to be blinking in with Geb, throwing down the Cataclysm, then in comes Tyr, taking out the Squishies. That's how the focus has to be. That was a long fight. Beads were down. I had no idea that this Tier 1 was still up. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh I just I, I, I said, like, this is a healthy Titan. Yeah, <laughs> right? I, like, it's I, a I, very, no, very strong I thought, Titan. I thought the Tier 2 might have been up, but the Tier 1 still 23 yeah. minutes. It finally gets taken down uh, by a team who's 18 kills ahead. Right now, uh, goal for minute, you know, on the character, I think that uh, me and Gandhi both thought was weakest coming into this. That would have been Neath. Uh, she's actually highest goal per minute by almost 10 over the baby. She's um, doing well. Who I think is going to be very underrated this season. I think I think the baby is in a pretty decent spot. Okay. I, I, I could get on that train. I, I could understand that. Now, when you look at Neath's build, you're going to see this Ickable, right? right? So if they don't win this next team fight, this Ickable is going to get sold off. Yeah, probably. And, and, we, and we're probably going to see the Deathbringer come out right there. Uh, obviously, the first thing that's going to happen is Bluestone Pendant's going to be gone. So they're going to hold on to the Ickable for just a bit. But the other thing I want to touch on is Spirit Robe is now an official thing. It exists. I liked it before. Oh, come on. Oh, man. No, you did it. reduction. I mean, realistically, not much was changed. It did get a buff to its physical protection, small nerf to the magical protection. Uh, now becomes, I think, uh, just a better version overall okay. of uh, Hide of the Urchin. Yeah? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I, I think that makes sense. I, I, I can I I be on that 15% damage reduction. It can be very. Oh, BK Haste. Nice uh, use of beats there to stop the stun coming out from the Neath. Oh, homie FA he's chasing in, in here, but oh, he's still going down. Gee, he's, he's in a lot of trouble. Yo Yo ABC jumped on a roar of all people. That's a Ymir. He's got a lot of health. For those of you who are curious of that health, where where, where, where is he? He's got 2974, not including protections. He, he's going to be very, very hard to take out. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Ymir is just a beast. And it's a roar. I mean, this guy, and, you know, obviously, no offense to Typhlosion, but there is a clear outclassing going on oh, here. Yeah. His rotations are better. His mechanics are better. His teamwork so far has been better. Uh, Typhlosion there trying to spot out the fire giant <laughs> attempt. The only thing he's going to spot out is a respawn timer. Yeah. Rip. Yep. Sayonara, buddy. Uh, <laughs> that was just perfect execution. And still, even at... What, what time is it? 25 minutes here? Where is he? Oh, oh unrelinquished. No, buddy. No. Yeah. Not only did he blink into five people that are extremely far ahead, yeah. but he, he blinked in. He had the dream. Yeah, I mean, he, he went for the steal, sure, but he blinked in directly onto the flame strike, or whatever mm -hmm. we're going to call that, the, yeah. the knock-up that the fire giant does. That thing swings, man, way mm -hmm. harder than the knock-up did before because this one is dodgeable. Yep. So so I, th I think I'm starting to see kind of where uh, the Noble Esports problem kind of lied in. When I, when I look at Geb, uh, blink is one of those items that you almost – guaranteed need to buy on Geb, just because Blink and Cataclysms are amazing, right? You don't have to worry about the rollout. And instead he went Shell. Now, Shell is fantastic. Yeah, I prefer the Shell. You prefer I Shell prefer over Blink, really? 
I even do. with, I, I don't know, I just feel like looking at it, it would have been like perfect. Well, I mean, his team would have also got annihilated even faster had they not had that damage reduction. And Gio, oh, gets caught out by the wall. Aurora really showing his strength here. Typhlosion will go down again. Uh, BK Look at him. comes back up and unrelinquished him. Yeah, right there, they do get a kill, but it was on the person diving the fountain. 0% <laughs> left on that Chaos Titan. That's going to be it for game one. Team Ben uh, looks to have annihilated Noble Esports in our first showdown on the PTS. This is, uh, I think, our first viewing of the new map in a truly competitive setting and already making a strong name for themselves So the five boys on Team Ben. Yep, so they're going to go ahead and take home a little bit of a cash prize there for them. Is I want to take a look at the damage. Yeah. Oh, there's money on the line? Yeah, there's money on the line like for these. Glory. Come on, girl. How much? Uh, I, I, I forget the logistics. I'm waiting it's on production half. to kind of come in my ear and tell me what it is. <laughs> we don't have production in our ears today. Yeah, no. Whatever. Uh, looking at the he player damage, word. Jerby, 20,000. I believe it. 20K on the board. But Vamana, Paradox. no shocker there, 21,000. Paradox, though, 25. <sighs> man. Paradox, he did everything he could, man. You know, I, I'm, still, I'm still on the fence with the Neath. Yeah. Um, that's that I'm I'm gonna stay on the fence with the Neath because I still believe that Uller AMC I am X -ball. severely under underrating Uller, I think. Oh yeah, you are you know, going into the to the uh, preliminary tier list and before the other major changes were made, I didn't see Uller as going to be as effective and I still believe that I don't okay. think that we're gonna see him super effective in the duo lane. But Cyclone spin last night, if you guys caught the complexity scrim in the in the solo lane yep. with the god, laid waste to his opponent. Yeah, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for game one. When we come back, Bart will be taking my place as they cast game number two.